So I'll tell you a true story. Uh, this is a story about two mathematicians. Uh, one was G. H. Hardy, uh, an Englishman, and the other was Srinivasa Ramanujan, uh, a very famous Indian mathematician. So both of them were working at Cambridge and uh, Ramanujan was not well. Uh, he ended up in hospital, so G. H. Hardy goes to visit him and Hardy uh, catches a taxi. So when he gets there, uh, you know, of course, you know, you've got two mathematicians together. I mean, of course, they'll talk some numbers and uh, of course, they'll talk some math. Uh, so G. H. Hardy tells Ramanujan that the taxi number uh, uh, that he came in was not a very exciting number. It was 1729. So Raman, and he says, you know, this wasn't very exciting. Uh, but Srinivasa Ramanujan immediately gets back to him and says, no, I mean, it's actually a, a really interesting number. It's the smallest number that is expressible as the sum of two cubes in two different ways. Well, let's explain what that means. Uh, what that essentially means is that 1729 can be written as, say, a cubed plus b cubed, where a and b are numbers. But it can also be written as c cubed plus d cubed, where c and d are different numbers. So essentially, <coughs> it can be written as the sum of two cubes in two different ways. So what we suggest is the following. Why don't you actually get yourself uh, a pen and a paper, uh, then go ahead and pause this video. And why don't you try and work this out yourself? So try and work out. Uh, what a and b are such that a cubed plus b cubed is 1729 and if you can work that out then try and see whether you can find c and d which are different numbers such that c cubed plus d cubed is also equal to 1729. So after the pause we will give you the solution uh, to this question uh, and we will also uh, pose and answer two additional questions which are sort of similar in spirit. The number that we had was 1729 and what we said was that this can be uh, written as the sum of two cubes. So that's uh, a cubed plus b cubed in two different ways. So 1729 can be also written as c cubed plus d cubed and the question that we posed was the following. Can we find a, b, c and d? Right, so that was the question that we actually posed and uh, let me move that out. So the answer is uh, 1729 can be written as uh, 10 cubed plus 9 cubed. 10 cubed is 1000, 9 cubed is 729. So you add the two together, you get 1729. It can also be written as 12 cubed plus 1 cubed. So 12 cubed is 1728 plus 1. So 1 cubed is just 1. So 1728 plus 1 gives us 1729. So 1729 can be written as the sum of two cubes in two different ways. Let's change the question a little bit. So the question is now the following. What if we allow what if we allow v cube of a negative integer? Yeah. So essentially what that means is uh, we are saying that consider the following situation where you have a cube plus minus b cubed and that equals a certain number and we have c cube plus d cubed and that equals the same number. Uh, the answer in this case is obviously different. So here we get uh, 6 cubed plus minus 5 cubed which is 91 and 4 cubed plus 3 cubed which also works out to be 91. So we actually allow a negative integer to come into the picture, uh, then the number n here is 91. Let's give uh, a hard question, okay? This is actually quite a hard question. 
And the question is the following, uh, that uh, consider that we have a cube plus b cube equal to some number n, and we have c cube plus d cubed equal to the same number n, but now we also want uh, e cubed plus f cubed equal to uh, the same number n. So what you need to do is you need to find a, b, c, d, e, and f such that when you cube them and add them up in the following way, you get the same number n. Now, uh, if you really want to be brave, you can go ahead and try it, but if you just want to know the solution, then keep watching. Uh, the number n is a, a rather large number. It is uh, 87539319. And the question now is, what are a, b, c, d, e, and f? Uh, this number can be written as uh, 167 cube plus 436 cube. It can also be written as 228 cube plus 423 cube. And finally, it can also be written as uh, 255 cube plus 414 cubed. So essentially that are your A, B, C, D, E, and F, and that's your number N. So that number can be, run, can be written as the sum of uh, two cubes in three different ways.